back and the word mix solution is diminish. Well, let's have a look at those scores. Aaron is on 12, Stephen on 20 as we go into our final letter game for the night. Aaron, you choose, please. Thank you, Richard. Lily, can I start with a consonant, please? You can. Thank you, Aaron. Starting with an S. I'll have another consonant, please. D. Another consonant, please. N. I'll switch to a vowel this time, please. U. I'll grab another vowel, please. E. I'll have another vowel, please. O. Now I have a consonant. T. A consonant. C. And a consonant. And final letter of the day, F. Let's start that clock. Final word for the week, Aaron. How did you go? Six letters long. And for you, Stephen? Six letters as well. What was your six? Soften, Richard. And yours, Aaron? Stoned. Stoned? Well, they both sound pretty good, David. Yeah, the hard and the soft, and both uh, fired in the dictionary for six. And uh, I was a little confused earlier with Friday the 13th, and consequently, there it was, sitting in the mix, confused. Confused. I don't believe that you are, but the scores were great. Six each for Aaron and Stephen. Aaron on 18. Stephen now on 26. Last numbers game for the week now, and uh, Stephen, this time, your selection. Certainly. Uh, Lily, could I have three high and three low? Thank you. You can. Thank you, Stephen. Three large and three small. Six, two, seven, and the three large, 75, 150, and the target number is 919. Thank you, Lily. The time starts now. Very nice indeed. Aaron? I struggled. I'm sitting on 900. Oh, OK. You're a little too far away, but uh, Stephen, take us through your method. Sure. I added 6 and 2 to start off with. 6 and the 2. And then multiply that by 100. By the 100, which gives you 800. Then I added the 50 and the 75. And the 50 and the 75 gives you 925. And then subtracted the 6. And minus... Oh, I think you've already used six there. Sorry, Stephen. Oh, we've got a double six usage. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can only use each number once. So no score for Stephen. But uh, Lily, can you take us to the answer? I can. It's actually in the same vein as Stephen's method, but I can talk you through it. Now, seven plus two is nine. Nine by 100 is 900. Um, now, 75 minus 50 is 25. Add that on is 925, and minus the 6 that Stephen had troubles with is 919. Ah, very nice indeed, Lily. So our scores at the moment stand Aaron on 18, Stephen on 26. Now to our final game for the show, and of course, the week, and it is the conundrum. So let's reveal the conundrum. Your time starts now.
all the time has come to an end. The buzzers have not sounded. So that does mean that uh, neither of our contestants will get any score. But let's have a look at the conundrum solution. The solution is... Melodrama. Well, that's what it's certainly been tonight. So that does mean after the final round, our winner tonight is Stephen. Congratulations. So, uh, well, Aaron... Uh, it was a great game. It was a great run. We had you for quite a number of nights as our carryover champion. Um, how does it feel to be leaving? Uh, I'd like to blame the loss on Black Friday, but Stephen was too good for me. <laughs> Absolutely no superstition there. We'd like to send you home with a copy of the Macquarie Dictionary, the fifth edition, so you can leaf through that at your leisure. And we very much look forward to seeing you next week, Stephen. How did you find this, uh, this first night? I found it very, uh, very nerve-wracking, actually, Richard, and I can't believe on a score of double 13, I've actually won. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, double 13. You are our uh, champion for tonight, and you will be our carryover champion next week. So look forward to seeing you then. Thank you very much. And, David, we look forward, of course, to seeing you next week, but uh, as you looked back over the week, we had a whole lot of fantastic words, but was there something that particularly caught your eye? I'm, I'm going to dwell on Inferno just for one moment more. Um, not only is it a fitting for tonight, but it's also an antigram. Because if you mix up Inferno, you get the phrase non-fire, which of course in Inferno is a fire. <laughs> and uh, there are many antigrams around, and, and one that uh, springs to mind is uh, true lady. If you mix that up, you get adultery. An antigram is a beauty. Well, we may have some more of those next week, so save up a few for us. And Lily, you know, you've been working so hard on the uh, on the equations this week. Are you actually going to take a break from the maths over the weekend? I think I'm going to hang up my mathematical boots this weekend. <laughs> I, I think you deserve it, but thanks very much. We'll see you next week, Lily. And we look forward to seeing you next week as well. But if you'd like more information on letters and numbers, you can go to sbs.com.au forward slash letters and numbers. And I hope you all have a great weekend. We'll be back on Monday at the same time for another week of Letters and Numbers. Good night.